All right, I'm gonna make a video right before I start cleaning up for the day. I got these coupons here, clean them up, they're quarter inch. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all two welds that look almost identical, but one weld I do is going to be what it should be done, and the other one is gonna look like it, but it's, it's, uh, I guess it's what you get when you don't pay and you have somebody that really doesn't know what they're doing. Um, same welds, but totally different. I'll bring them back in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the right weld first. Um, like everyone said, you know, I'm a combo welder, so I can weld anything. Doesn't matter what it is, what type, anything. This goes for all welding, not just MIG welding, but MIG welding is the biggest problem I see with uh, people think they know what they're doing, but they really don't. They're just getting lucky. Let me get my hammer. Everything set up real quick. Uh, like I said, the first one, uh, first bead's gonna be um, what I would call right. If you're a real welder and you've been in it a long time, you can hear the difference from my way. You don't have to see it and look at it and look at the values or nothing. You can hear it. Well, I'm gonna go change the settings up. I gotta walk away in my shop because I'm not a suitcase welder. Be back in a second. Okay. Like I said, this goes for all welding. Uh, I mostly just pretty much stick well, but uh, if it's quarter inch and under, um, and I'm in a shop setting, I'd probably grab a MIG welder. But most people think you just turn the wire speed down, well, you got to have amperage from the wire speed. All right, let's try this one. try to break test them. They're pretty close. Uh, you know, that one's going to be a lot smaller because it doesn't have drive pushing in and filling up, drive pushing in and filling up. It's just, uh, I see a lot of, uh, I hate to say it, but dirt track racers, this is, this is how the roll cages are made. Anyways, and trailer manufacturers. I'll bring you back um, when they cool all the way down and we'll break test them. All right, let's break these. They've cooled all the way down. Uh, this one, I'm going to have a hard time. It might break. It might not. This one right here is the the, the bad weld out of the two. It, it's definitely going to break. There ain't no doubt about it. I'm hoping they both break so we can kind of see uh, where they broke. Uh, start with this one. Yeah. That's a waste of time. Whole thing off the table. Uh, uh, my tack's broke. Let me hook my welder back up and and I'll tack that better. Let's not have the setting right when I tack it. Alright, hold on. We'll be back. Alright, back again. Uh, see how many 
How many wax it takes to break it? This one was one or two, one or two, something like that. Big difference. Now, I already knew they were both going to break because it's only welded on one side. But the whole point is, you see how much more it took. That's what this one is doing. How much more it took to it bent the bent the steel. Um, it's a big difference. Now, as you can see, one was a little bit stronger than the other. They're both going to break because it's only welded on one side. Um, this might not even broke if I would have put a triple pass or a double. But more than likely, if something just welded on one side and you bend it over, it's going to eventually snap. It's just how it is. Now, 7018 or any of the low high rods, they might take a little more beating than a hard mega wire. But like this, welding on the wrong setting, even they look the same almost, but telling you it's totally different uh, a lot of people are getting lucky I would say lucky because they're welding on like very thin steel it's like action figure material like tailpipe that's the only reason they're getting what they're getting um, that they stepped up and actually you know welded something they're gonna have failures uh, I don't know if anybody's been watching but uh, there's been a lot of failures like in the last I would say three to four years, I mean, they're everywhere. And it's just it's things falling apart, completely just falling apart, like it was hot glued together. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if these, the new, the new people generation coming in is not being taught right, or I'm not sure what it is, but sometimes, especially if both these have paint on them, or even power coat, a lot of thick paint, you're not going to be able to tell. There's no way. So, when you get something built, try to find a welder that's a, that he does welding. Not someone that's a landscaper that also works on HVAC and he also pours concrete. He also does a variety of things. Find a welder if you want it done right the first time, every time.